Today I'm in a tenanted property and I'm doing a condition report. I just thought I'd make a video based on the initial walk round to find out how much sample testing I'm going to do. So I hope you enjoy it guys. So here we are on a condition report. And this is the bathroom. There is a batten lamp holder. There's the bath. It actually looks higher than it is, but uh, I can actually stand in there and reach that without any problems. And there is a shower. Just haven't opened that up yet. And then we have this. All I can describe is uh, monstrosity. lady advised me that the boiler's only just been installed so on further inspection out of curiosity I found this clearly they don't think uh, tucking and using appropriate joints tucking cables in using appropriate joints is uh, is necessary which uh, wings its way up to yet another joint that's here. Again, I haven't opened that up yet. But this is the sort of thing that you see on a regular basis, unfortunately. There is some cross bonding, which has been interrupted. Lamps look fairly sturdy. Um, we've got a mixture of plastic fittings and metal. Uh, clearly, whoever's done this, uh, it's been done some time ago. Looks like um, maybe HEP fittings and speed fit, I'm not sure, 22 mil. Um, but they haven't seen the need to extend or make sure that the earth is continuous throughout the installation, seeing as the boiler has got no RCD on it, it's on its own circuit. So we've got all this going on in here. Moving into the bedroom, we have a socket there with an extension lead which runs all the way over here to the rear of the TV. Quite a few bits and pieces plugged into it, including a fan. And then there is one single socket over there. And I think that's it for this room. Most of the switches have got paint or plaster covering them over. One of the things that we uh, sometimes do if it's not possible to remove this is use a wandering lead and try and get earth continuity at least onto the, uh, the, the screw side of the machine screw. So you put your probe in there, use a wandering lead back to the board See if we've got earth continuity. It's not always possible because it could be a plastic box that's behind there. It's hard to tell at this moment in time. Um, if I can't get an earth on that side, I always try that side. If you don't get an earth at all, obviously you might need to just cut it. Um, in an ideal world, it should be cut anyway to inspect what's going on behind here. Um, but it's, again, it's not always possible. That switch works okay. Again, it's the pendant. One socket there, and there's one over the other side as well, which is hidden here with an, a wire that goes to an unknown place. I'm not sure where that goes. So we open this cupboard up. 
there's a rather lot of stuff in there uh, to start moving and, and pulling out so that's one that will be going down for further investigation to see where that actually disappears to some of these sockets they are starting to encroach downstairs a little bit too close to the radiator with the heat third bedroom child's room stand again standard pendant drop you might think well what's wrong with the pendant drop not a lot sorry about the brightness guys so we come here and you realize that the actual shade is being held up with the the bulb that's in it um, it's not got round the home office skirt which is freeing at the top so we take the bulb out shades likely to drop on your head or maybe it might set on fire at some point in the future these are the things that you need to start looking out for when you're doing a visual i haven't actually taken anything off i will try and take things off in this property and uh, see what's behind it I mean, i'm presuming that this is for the boiler which goes into that cupboard there and that that's connected to the joint inside but we won't know until we've done a bit of further investigation so i'm just going to turn some of these lights off again i've got my head torch on well we're coming downstairs we look in this area here we can see a stop tap and there's bond to that side but not to that side and again plastic fittings so you think great i found the stop tap well actually no just before we move off as you can see balancing on the bulb again so we're into the front room bit of a strange place but not uncommon we have another stop tap time there is a bonding on it but this pipe that goes up is all plastic and it clearly goes over maybe to the water meter what I was mentioning earlier paint this one's been sealed down the sides very little chance of getting this off probably a plasterboard box wall light strangely enough that one doesn't do the two-way in here it actually does the kitchen so, kitchen light there's the socket right next to the radiator which again has got an extension lead in which supplies the fridge if we go over here we've got two consumer units Neither are in very good shape. As we can see, there's all sorts going on in there. So that one's an old off peak, which is possibly no longer used, but there is a contactor outside that's connected to a time switch. So a bit more further investigation. If it's not needed, it might have to come off. Um, I'm definitely going to recommend something be done with that. Because again, I'm unable to remove the earths out the back satisfactorily to do an R1, R2 test. And if I can't take them out the board, how do I know I've not got parallel paths when I'm doing my R1, R2s? It's one of the dangers, guys. If you take a flying lead from here, connect it into your, into your bar at the top for your earths, how do you know how the earth is actually getting its path back to this position? It could be using bonding, could be going through the boiler manifold, there's all sorts of possibilities. So if you can't take the earths out, I always recommend making a note on your report to the effect of unable to remove the earths from the board, parallel paths could still exist within the installation and therefore I'd mark it down as requiring further investigation, even though you managed to get a test.
So this is uh, this is the fridge. It's connected to that extension lead somewhere. If we go over here to the kitchen area, we have a washing machine. The only uh, place that we can get the washing machine plugged in is right behind it. No access without taking the washing machine out. Not very easily to isolate. Here's a socket to the rear of this cupboard. There's a socket at the rear there. That's a spur off the ring. Over here, there is another socket, which at the minute there's some renovation work going on. There's three cables in it in there. So obviously there's a spur off and you've got a cooker circuit leading to a freestanding oven. Um, and that looks like it's it on that one. Up here, socket, very, very low to the top of the cupboard. And apparently it supplies the fan. Again, metal fitting, resting on top of the actual bulb. So I'm going to advise the tenant accordingly. Over here, we have a switch. If we just pop outside, we should see the gas bonding. As we can see, gas is bonded. Somebody's rather cleverly put a little latch on, but it's not bonded before any joint. It's actually bonded down here. Uh, BS7671 stipulates that if the meter is outside, the bond should be inside or within 600, wherever practicable. Well, that's clearly open to all the elements and you can see it's been in a number of years due to the fading of the the yellow that's on there uh, so i would suggest um, getting that upgraded we can see here it goes through the wall and i would suggest putting it maybe inside in the kitchen so it complies with bs7671 and the connection is sound there's another wire that goes along the footpath. And surprise, surprise, it goes through the wall. Probably to where the bonding is for the water on the inside of that, uh, that wall going vertically up, the one I pointed out earlier, which is plastic. So this is the outside elevation. There's one plastic outside light there and to the rear of the property. It's a bit of an odd shape. We have a rusted up old halogen spotlight. If there was any clipping on that, it's long since disappeared. Possibly when this was re-rendered. These are all the telltale signs. It's not necessarily been left like that because there's a few clips still in place. So I'd imagine the person that's put it in, instead of using P-clips, use plastic clips. And on the outside, and when they, uh, they did this, sorry, pointing. <coughs> when they did this pointing, they possibly dragged it off at that point. But it's been in a number of years. It's not any mechanical protection on it. I hope you got some useful information out of today's video. Just a little uh, walk around on a job, nothing too heavy. Obviously, there's quite a lot to take in there if you're new to inspection and test, and even if you're a whole old hand at it, hopefully there'll be a little bit of something in there for you as well. So as usual, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.